overnight BP engineers again tried to stop the flow of oil 5,000 feet below on the floor. There is their second attempt this weekend. And Matt Gutman is in Biloxi, Mississippi with the latest. Matt. Good morning, Bill. Now, there is no rest for the weary. BP engineers tried to work throughout the night to thread that needle to insert that six inch tube into that broken pipeline. But BP officials say that despite yesterday's setback, they are optimistic, but they caution that there may be more setbacks and obstacles in the future before they can suck up that oil. This morning, BP engineers are back at it using deep sea robots to nudge a six inch hose into this spray of oil and gas after yet another setback. We did have to pull it back to surface yesterday to make some adjustments so that we could connect it properly to the, the pipe work that connects it to the ship. BP says inserting the six inch hose into the 21 inch pipe is like threading a needle 5,000 feet down in the dark. But if it works, it could siphon up 85% of the oil. And also this morning, the Coast Guard will begin blasting dispersants at the source of the leak, hoping to break down the oil before it bubbles to the surface. I just want to assure everyone that we didn't cross this threshold lightly to employ this tool. On the U.S. Coast Guard Rear Admiral, Admiral Mary Landry assured reporters oil, the dispersant would cause far less environmental damage than the leaking oil. The next best option is the so-called junk shot, an injection of knotted rope, tire parts, and golf balls meant to clog the wellhead, but that is still a week away. Meantime, every day, 200,000 gallons of oil pump into the gulf. By some estimates, far more. And as the failures mount, so does the pressure from the Obama administration. That cancer has got to be stopped, and so uh, we have been working uh, relentlessly. In but for those who make their living off the sea, like charter boat captain Mike Photo, the disease that afflicts them most is uncertainty. It's just frustrating. You know, you think they're going to stop it. Like the first time when they put the hat on, and, you know, everybody had the hopes, yeah, it was going to, you know, that was going to work. And it didn't, so you're back to square one. Now, Bill, we see that the oil has not yet washed up on the beaches here of the Gulf Coast, but it is lurking in massive amounts in the water. A team of federally backed oceanographers went out. They said they found plumes 10 miles long, three miles wide. They're just absolutely enormous. There are many of them and they're thousands of feet underwater. So we, we have no idea of the scope of this yet because you can't really see it. Well, what, what would that do to sea life, all that oil under the surface? Well, apparently, well, Bill, apparently that oil is sucking up all the oxygen around it, thereby killing a lot of the marine life that lives around those oil plumes, causing enormous damage.